Hello there everybody, it is me Freezer Bunny and welcome to the Sims 4 Villa Capra house tour video. So today I'm going to be doing an overview and showcase of the house that we built um, in the house building Villa Capra series and I'm very very excited to see to hear what you guys think of the final results of the house. So I have moved in the land grab family and hopefully we're going to be able to play them for about a day or two and see just whether the lot is functioning and to also see like the features of the lot as well. So I'm really really excited to take you guys with me into this house tour video and yeah. Um, so uh, th currently the Villa Capra house building series has four videos. The first one is where we built pretty much the exterior and the floor plan and the rest of the other three videos are where we detail the interiors and do some more interior designs as well. So anyway, um, first things first before moving into the actual gameplay, I'm actually going to show you guys how to export your lot and save it into the gallery and all that good stuff. So first things first, how to save your lot into your library is that you go into build mode mode here or press F2 and then you have the option to save the lot to library and you just click on that really quickly and then you choose the save lot and then here you can choose to change the name of the house and all that good stuff so if you click on that you actually have the option to change the house so currently I want to name this house Villa Capra so I can just change Villa La Rotonda into Villa Capra very very easily right now it's loading because yeah it's loading to change the the thumbnails we have of the house and over here we also have like the the value of the house and the lot type which is residential th the size of the lot that it's built in and then you can also able to um, choose um, how many bedrooms it has so right now it has three bedrooms and um, it has four bathrooms as well but anyway since I was able to save the um, a copy of the Villa La Rotonda, Villa Capra in my own library anyway. I'm not gonna save this now, but if you do want to save it into your own library, you just have to click on this button and it will automatically save it in your library. Now, once you've done that, you can access your lot if you go to the gallery really, really quickly and go click on this tab. Normally, you would start off here, so click on the rightmost tab and it is my library and you guys can see me have several versions of some of the lots that I've uploaded, but this one is Villa Capra by me and you guys can see that it has all the details you need to make it work and all that good stuff. So, um, it shows you guys the name of the creator and it is by myself or um, hashtag Amitaliri uh in the sims 4 gallery and anyway and it, it sh also shows you the date of when it was exported not when it was created oh this is the date when it was exported and the type of lot which is residential of course it is a house and the price of the lot which actually changes depending on where your lot was built in anyway um and it also shows you the size of the lot and then the number of bedrooms and also the number of bathrooms as well as some screenshots over here and finally you have um, a short description of the lot so you guys can actually have the option to share the lot on Facebook and then you can delete the lot from your library and then you can move and then you can bring the lot into build mode which is the exact same lot I have right now so I'm not even gonna bother and you also have this option to share the lot to the gallery so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this you just click on this and then you just click on connect I guess um, and just really really quickly just as easy as that your lot is now available in the gallery and now I'm doing the official announcement that yes you guys the lot is officially in the gallery and it will stay there up until forever so yes you can now download this lot you guys can see that it has this icon right here and you guys can see that I can click on it to showcase in my profile and yep now it is officially shared in the sims 4 gallery and you guys can download the house if you search villa capra or my username hashtag amitaliri so yes but anyway before we move into the gameplay i just want to read you guys the description of the villa capra for now okay so the description reads an icon of the italian renaissance 
The Villa Capra is an architectural masterpiece. Perfectly symmetrical on all sides, the villa features large archways and windows to let in the cool Tuscan breeze. Oh yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is bring this lot into build mode and let's buy it furnished I guess. Okay, applying this will replace the lot currently in build mode. You cannot undo this action. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do because it is the exact same lot but I wanted to show you guys that interaction and that functionality. So yes. Okay. Okay, and you guys can see that there is this notification as well. You have shared a lot, Villa Capra. And just to prove you guys that my uploads can actually be seen in the gallery, you guys actually have to go to Community and make sure you click on All, not just Maxis, because if you click on Maxis, it will only show you all the things that were created by Maxis or were liked by Maxis. So just go to All, or if you're following me, go to Following. But if you go to All and click on um, and actually type in my username, Amitaliri, which is the name of my, a video game character, actually, and then search on that. You guys can actually, ooh. Okay, you can actually, okay, click on the origin ID first before you type in my username, I guess. Amitaliri. Okay, there we go. And then it will show you guys my shared lots here, which is the Trianon Palace and then the Villa Capra, which was which doesn't have any downloads yet. Hopefully you guys will download this house and enjoy it as well. Anyway, um, you can actually also sh uh, search in um, just Villa, I guess. If we search the word Villa, let's see what shows up. Hopefully the Villa Capra will be visible and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, it doesn't... Ooh, what is this? Why does it... I, I think if you have this icon, it has like a premium item or something or a limited edition item or something i don't know but for some reason the villa thing does not show up like well okay probably because there's a lot if we search villa capra though i think it will show up okay there we go and then i'm pretty sure oh my god why is there like nothing a lot I don't know maybe I guess you just you guys just have to search my origin ID it's very very difficult right now because I don't understand like literally like what's happening but if you guys search my origin ID like this yep it'll show up I don't know why it's not showing if I search if I type in villa or something but whatever I think it's probably because nobody has downloaded yet downloaded it yet but whatever okay so maybe we can have like most recent and stuff Anyway, but so yes, that's that. You guys can clearly see that you can now access all my works. There's two of them, so I hope you guys enjoy. But anyway, moving on into live mode, actually, or live mode. Let's just X that. Anyway, this is the final house, you guys. So I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Like I've said, it's perfectly symmetrical on all sides. Um... But don't worry, it's still very functional as well as a home. And you guys can see that I've completed furnishing the exterior and also landscaping it as well. And I've also added one very special feature. I'm going to let you guys guess which one it is for like 5 seconds. Okay, time's up. Okay, I've added this thing. I totally forgot that you can scale up the sculpture. So I've added that on the top, which I think fits in so well and I think it looks absolutely freaking amazing like that I think it really does complete the house but anyway I'm going to go into tab and then show you guys pretty much give you guys pretty much a tour of the house so this is the grand entrance way from from the street I guess and then if you go um that is the main entrance which is really really grand actually and I want to tell you guys that this house is also going to be uploaded in mod the sims so I will also link the download over there so you guys can see more detail as well and um, if you guys want to download the Petit Chianon via mod the sims it is also available there so this is kind of the main entrance hallway and to the left of it you have the bedrooms and also to the right of it you have another bedroom as well um, so if you move forward, you have the amazing great room, as I'd like to call it. Um, and you have your desk over here. You have your four fireplaces, which I'm like, wow, I love that. Uh, and of course, you have the gaming table over there in the far right. And then we have a double story ceiling, actually, which is kind of amazing, you guys. I really, really love that feature, and I think it makes my house unique. 
Uh, so yeah, I really really like that. Um, and the second floor is not there's nothing in the second floor pretty much, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. But anyway, you guys can also probably notice that um, there's barely any partitions in the house. Like there's barely any real doors. So you guys, your guys' Sims can literally like enjoy the cool Ita Italian climate or the warm Italian climate. If you just step out of your dining room or something like that, you can literally like just enjoy the outdoors. And I, that was a really, really important thing for me as well is because Italy has such a pleasant climate and, you know, you really can just you know enjoy it if i just make arches rather than just making doors and make the house all enclosed and stuff but anyway this is the dining room the formal dining room so that's that it has some nice little plates on the walls to make it more kind of provincial that's kind of what i want to express or to showcase anyway moving on to probably one of my favorite rooms in the house which is the kitchen i love those tiles by the way anyway the kitchen has this breakfast nook over here for two and it also has um, a bar area for two as well and so that is the kitchen i really really like how it looks very very provincial very very mediterranean looking you know um i was very inspired by like the colors of santorini in greece and you know like pompeii and tuscany in italy so if, i hope you guys can see that and there's literally like this arch window which is such, so useful for me because it just gives the house such an open feeling to it which I absolutely love. And this is the rear hallway which leads to the master bedroom and you can also go to the main great hall or if you go to the left you can go admire the beautiful view of Oasis Springs. Love those fountains by the way. Anyway, so yes, if we go move moving forward with the master bedroom we have the master bathroom here which is actually the same bathroom all over the house so i'm not even going to dwell on that it's pretty much the same format anyway the sims 4 comes with a very nifty way to save your lots um and copy them so that's really really cool and this is the master bedroom it has this nice little lounging area over here which has magnificent views of oasis springs by the way love these candelabras and of course we have the grand master bed that has a canopy and freaking awesome this is one of the best beds you can buy the sims for because it gives you so much energy literally freaking awesome bed and it has this nice little screen over there which i think is an awesome touch and also an office area if you have if you're master of the house of course you have to do your you know accounting and all that stuff so yeah and probably the next room that i'm going to show you guys is the library actually which is also one of my favorite rooms as well i just really really like how this room looks the proportions of it is fantastic and i just like the bookshelves and how they look there's just so much nice little clutter um elements to it that um, I just really like the, the effect of it. And then, of course, you can also just move forward and freely transition from the interior to the exterior, which I freaking love that ability in this house. And I think that also makes this house unique. You know, there's no weather in the game. Every time you play the game, it's going to be perfectly sunny and nice weather. So, you know, yeah. And this is the child's bedroom, I would like to say. And they also have that lounge area over here. And we have... Uh, two single beds and then over here to the left is a bedroom I mean a bathroom which is exactly the same as we have in the master bedroom and for the final room that I'm gonna show to you guys it is going to we have pizza delivery that's weird I don't know why but I guess the pizza delivery woman is paying us a visit or something I totally don't know but anyway next room that I'm gonna show you guys is the the guest bedroom actually so over here it has a nice little large queen size bed i think or king size whatever and then pretty much the same layout as the other bedroom that we saw earlier but it does have beautiful views of our neighbors and also some landscaping as well on the exterior so that is it for the really short kind of walkthrough of the house and now let's try to actually play with our sims and w see whether or not the house is functioning so obviously i think they're probably like hungry right now or something oh i actually want them to light um the fireplace so we're gonna have what's her name uh we're gonna have nancy landgrab and then we have jeffrey and then we have malcolm landgrab as well and okay where did they get the video games get oh, probably from their phone okay so we're gonna light that up and then we're gonna just warm ourselves and then we're gonna put it out because i don't want this house to burn down 
just as it was completed it's already it's already gonna burn down no thanks anyway um next thing that we're gonna do is actually play cards with um jeffrey okay and unfortunately in the sims 4 you actually can't have your sims woohoo with their you know spouse if the spouse is a different age group so if you're for example if your spouse is like an elder and your sim is um a, an adult then they can't woohoo unfortunately even though you can totally do that in the sims 3 you can't do that in the sims 4 which is really sad but anyway they're, they're just gonna play some cards i guess and then makam over here is probably gonna cook some yeah he's cooking some vegetables i guess oh he's cooking some vegetarian uh food here i i, I think this is autumn salad i hate how he like literally cleaned his ears with his finger and then used it to cook the freaking salad that's just freaking weird anyway see he's using the miscellaneous chairs that i put so that's really awesome you guys are were really iffy about the chairs that i had but you know i think they're also very functional as well because in the sims 4 like i like i kept saying the sims are very intelligent and they can actually multitask so that's really cool you know you you can have your sims multitask and socialize with someone while playing cards or like you know watch tv while doing their homework it's really really awesome so how does she feel actually? Okay, she needs some hunger as well. So we're going to end this card game now. And then we are just going to have Nancy go here and uh, just pretty much cook. Um, she's going to cook some scrambled eggs, I guess. Okay, and just a single serving for herself. And then he, okay, he's also really hungry as well. But he, he actually just took out um, like some cereal over here. So I'm going to have him eat that, I guess. And I hate how you can't have like any romantic interactions. Oh, he can't. Yep, he can't have. Oh my god, seriously though? Yep, I guess he can. You know what you guys, what I said earlier, I take it back. Because earlier I tried to see if I use her to, um, to click on the bed. The interaction for Chai for Baby and Woohoo. Pretty much the romantic interactions you get with the beds don't come up, you know. I don't understand. So if I actually choose Jeffrey, we can actually, woo, you know, let's try for baby with her. Why not? You know, this is not going to be like a permanent gameplay anyway. Where is he? Okay, he's going to finish eating that. And yeah, pretty much I'm just showing you guys the functionality of the house. And I think the sunset looks so gorgeous. You guys can see how the light travels through the rooms. You know, there's a bit of orange over here because there's orange light that floods in from the outside. I think that is absolutely just amazing. Amazeballs. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. So they're just going to type kind of... Literally though, my game just crashed on me guys and I'm in freaking denial because this is like the first time my game actually crashed. But anyway, so I started a new game and pretty much we're gonna take things off from there. I do want to spend a little bit more time showing off the house to you guys and just proving to you guys that everything is functional and all that good stuff. But anyway, I started a new game and there is this freaking tutorial that just doesn't want to go away and can it please like just go freaking away i'm like okay it went away okay whatever oh look at that they just hug anyway he is actually going to let's see here what can i he's a teen right i think he's a teen um i'm gonna find something that he can do here um so maybe he can read something i guess he is going to read um something i <laughs> yeah and he is feeling playful actually Ooh, check this out he is actually in the bathroom um, really really interesting actually um i love how he's wearing pants though i mean why is he wearing pants that's so weird um maybe he has he has like the never nude thing or i don't know but that was really bizarre though because he was wearing pants but anyway um so i do want both of them to woohoo with each other but since this isn't the main bedroom anyway i want them to woohoo for over here so she's going to woohoo with Jeffrey Landgrab and pretty much continue on where we left off from the last, um, from when the game didn't crash on me, I guess. But anyway, look at his belly. It's kind of big, but whatever. Um, I love how it's like literally 11 a.m. And you guys can probably know that the house is completely like open on all four sides. So there's literally not a pane of glass that separates 
the inside from the outside so this is gonna be really interesting but the sims don't i mean the sims don't have shame anyway like they don't <gasps> oh my god her outfit though she is so freaking prepared that's fun uh oh yeah awesome and let's see here what else can we do um she can uh i'm not so sure if she can like uh freshen up or psych self up i don't know maybe she can i mean I, oh my god this woohoo is taking a while i do love how it takes a while because in the sims 3 it does last a, a little bit shorter actually it's, yeah it's it's just a very quick woohoo for the sims 3 but i think i i like it better um, oh my god, I love how she literally can use this mirror. In The Sims 3, she would literally just complain and... I keep saying literally for some strange reason, but anyway. In The Sims 3, she would complain and just, you know, she won't be able to use that. But in The Sims 4, I'm glad that they're able to use that as well. But I also do want to experiment with, like, the color of the lights, actually. Set color and intensity for all lights. And I do want it to be, like, this color, I guess. I don't know, I just want it to be like an interesting color. Let's go for that, I don't know. Candlelight type of color. Anyway, you guys can actually just change the color for in, in, in accordance to what you like anyway. So, ah, I love it, I love it to death. Anyway, what else do we need to do? He needs to do something, let's see here. Let's see if we can light like all the fireplaces and see if, oh my god, I've always wanted to test that out. So I'm actually gonna go to buy mode and place um and place like a sprinkler thing. Um I think it's in plumbing. Oh no, I think it's in appliances actually. Let's go to appliances and I think there oh maybe it's in plumbing, I don't know. I do know that there's like this sprinkler thing which is like super interesting and I've always wanted to try it as well, so I'm just looking for it. Uh, where is it? Like, seriously. Okay, let's go here and go to the freaking um, kitchen. Uh, oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? I literally can't see anything. I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. I hate how we can't turn off the tutorials. I don't like how they're like forcing it on us. You know, that we, ooh, you have to use the tutorial. I've been playing this game literally though for like... Um, 10 years already, I don't need a freaking tutorial. I know how it works. You know, I know that there's lots of new features, but I think those apply to, like, you know, those apply to more of, like, the intelligence of the Sims and the fact that it's not an open world and all that stuff. But, you know, the basic controls, and, oh my god, I'm, like, ranting about how I hate the tutorials. But anyway, um, I do want to see how this works, though, because that would be really interesting. Um, you guys probably already know this by now, but in The Sims 4, there are no um fire firefighters so you know you're gonna have to pretty much you know deal with fires and emergencies by yourself so yeah unfortunately um uh, but anyway does he have like a feminine walk or something totally fine with that i'm not judging but let's see here let's actually have the family go and eat um some dinner or i guess or some lunch so she's just gonna serve some lunch and it's gonna be grilled cheese i guess and then the two guys can just change their outfit into their formal wear because i do want this to feel like an actual dinner you know i do want this to feel like um a dinner party i guess you know you like what they do in like those period dramas where people just you know just dress up every night to eat dinner that'd be really cool oh my god look at what he's wearing though it's so freaking cute oh and he's also gonna read something while they're waiting for their mom to finish cooking Ooh, check that out you guys can see that it looks like it's heating up it's really really cool um and is she done oh i love how she goes to the freaking bathroom just to like place the the food i'm like seriously girl anyway um oh but i do love the plate though it's a very interesting plate. anyway I'm, I'm gonna have her go there and she's also going to change her outfit because i want all of them to look all fancy and stuff but she is really freaking sexy though are you freaking kidding me but anyway the boys are going to stop reading 
I like his formal hair, formal outfit hair, and let's call everybody to meal. I don't understand why it's called call to meal. Who are we calling to the freaking meal though? Like seriously. Okay, um, yeah, just grab a serving of that I guess. Um, I do like her formal wear though, so that's really cool. And, oh my god, he is like occupying the perfect place for the, like the head of the household. I, I don't know, he's the dad. He's like the, the dominant person in the house, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I pretty much showed you guys everything that I need to show for the house. So, you know, I think it speaks for itself. The fact that the house can function properly and yeah. All I have to say is that I do hope that you guys will enjoy this this house and I also hope that you guys learned something from me while doing this house building video. I think I'm going to I'm going to rest for a little bit before doing the next one, but I really can't wait. I have so many ideas, so you guys should really just keep on checking my channel for new things because I'm pretty much just really excited to explore The Sims 4 and bring you guys new things to um, to watch and to get on camera from. But anyway, um, I guess that is going to be it for this video. Uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot. And if you guys want to follow me on social media, those will be linked in the description below as well as the Mod The Sims download because you can also download this via Mod The Sims if you don't want to download it from the galleries. So, um, and the instructions to install are also found there as well. So, um, I just want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Freezer Bunny, and I will see you guys in my next, in blah, and I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye, guys!